All right, we're back for round two here with Holly. We rode her a little bit in the arena and then we brought her outside here. I'm doing a little groundwork with her out here just to kind of check her out, see what her attitude's going to be like out here and let her look at things and see the other horses that are out here and get familiar with her surroundings a little bit. And then we're going to jump up here and go for a bit of a ride this morning and see how she acts outside. I'm not sure uh, with her training that she's had in the past, I don't know how much time she's actually spent outside being rode. So this might be something completely different for her. And we'll just have to wait and see. But I'm going to use both rings. Here for the beginning. We're going to putz around here in the driveway a little bit first. Make sure that I can get her turned and stopped and backing up and doing the things that I want to do. before we head down the driveway there out into some unknown territory. She doesn't, on the surface she don't appear to be a real spooky mare. She seems pretty settled and confident in her abilities for being outside and doing different things so I think this is going to go just fine but Sometimes, you know, all these horses that haven't been exposed to much outside or new environments or done any kind of desensitizing, they might do real well in a con enclosed environment where there's not a lot of distractions, but then you get them outside and it seems like they lose everything that you've taught them until you can get them settled down and figure things out. So keep that in mind when you're working with your horses or your young horses, you know, get them exposed to a lot of different things before you try getting on them and riding them. All right, we're going to head on down the driveway here, meet some chickens and go past some cars and see how she works. Thank you. 